Bienvenue at Conjure South, at ConjureSouth.com. Welcome to Conjure South and ConjureSouth.com. Je suis comme dos le rano du de la goa biriale mille me dos la bond. I am Queen Comedos, the Hoodoo Queen of the Imperial Court of Milner Medos de la Bond, reigning over traditional Hutu, Obia, and Greek Greek of my family's lineage. Comedos Kanja, my family's line of over 218 years of remedies, recipes, and formulas within the space of Hutu, Obia, and Greek Greek, which can all be found at conjasouth.com. You will also find other amazing tools, supplies, formulas, literature, services, and more by the descendants of the ancestral magic you seek. Country South Publications, the world's first African-American traditional spiritual and healing publication company. You can find many of these amazing books, which are now available worldwide at ConjureSouth.com and Amazon.com. Enjoy. Bonjour, comment ça va? Je suis comme dos de Renoudou de la cause de Périal Menomédos de la Ponte. I am Queen Comedos, the Hoodoo Queen. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time watching, then please make sure that you subscribe to this channel. Otherwise, everybody else, give this video a thumbs up, leave a sweet, kind comment below, hit the notification button so you know whenever I'm making a post. In this video today, I am going to be teaching you how to properly utilize your Blockbuster Community Service Incense. Now, some of you may go, well, I didn't get an incense, so does it still work for me? Yes because the candle service is truly where the work is but the incense is a bonus it is a boost it is an amplifier it is the nail in the coffin if you will and so today i'm going to show you how you're going to properly utilize that now um say for example you say well queen i didn't do any of um any of the services so can this still work for me if i use another incense or if i make my own yes it's about the method that you are using okay um it just will not carry the eye shade that my ancestors has placed into this for those that did the community service it's a, it's a difference of the level of eye shade and that matters but anyways before we go on i know you're probably asking well queen i like that shirt and guess what? I'm going to tell you where I got it. The wonderful, amazing Miss Jessica Renee of um, Honey and Machetes um, designed this shirt. I will leave her information below um, as well as Honey's and Machete and all the great, wonderful stuff. If you saw my free weekly Zodiac readings and you clearly saw the black and gold one, which is me all day, every day. But I said, I'll give you a little summertime, you know, just a just a little shimmy if you will so anyways my babies this is going to be absolutely amazing it doesn't take much i know a lot of people are always looking for this big ritualistic i need to summon the seven powers and the eight walls and the south african goat with the new moon and fifty thousand dollars and gotta sacrifice a baby giraffe under a strawberry moon like all of this extra stuff 99 pennies but uh ain't one all kinds of stuff so it's not that and that's not what hoodoo really looks like it's not what it really feels like it's very practical um and i always go back to this statement because i hear people say all the time the ancestors didn't have enough resources they didn't have the resources no you have limited yourself so much that you don't have the resources. The ancestors had an abundance of resources. When you grow up, be like them, all right? And that is why I do things traditionally and it's how I was brought up. So you're probably also saying, well, Queen, this is a different setup. This is a different setup because this is the other side of the house um, where you are seeing the inside right now of Conjure South. Um, and so we just put everything up. So if you're ever wondering, when we're pulling things off of the shelves or we got things or we're trying to get things out and all of that jazz yes we are 
We have our seven day candles from a Jean Rappi, Bon Chance, Nettoyage, Rotaver, Le Mot de Soul, um, just so many, Le Mot just so many great, wonderful seven day fixed candles, um, as well as some, some regular seven day candles, oils, and some crystal soaps, and all other kind of good situations and goodies. You can find all of these things at ConjureSouth.com. Now, if you want to, if you're if you're the kind of individual that's quite ritualistic, then you may want to grab a blockbuster um, candle if you have one. You don't have to. You don't have to. You don't need to. The work has already been done. But if you want to amplify, you you want to put your you want to put your two cents in. Then do what you got to do. But anyways, you don't have to do a blockbuster can um, fixed candle, but you can, and we have them if you if you like. Um, if you got the queen of spades, you see I put it very clear in there. If you can't afford any of these things, or if you can't get this and the third, here are some substitutes. As long as you have this and this, you can do the work. We don't limit your magic here. We don't. Our ancestors didn't limit theirs and you will not limit yours. All right. So there's that. So what are you going to need? Well, first of all, you will be receiving your blockbuster incense. All right. Which is conjured by me. Um, now, with that being, but it is actually a recipe of my fourth great grandma or third great grandma. Pardon me. Just sweet as ancestor. So, um, so anyways you're going to be receiving that all right that should literally be showing up at your doorsteps over the next i would say maybe four to six days it's a holiday the pandemic y'all know we got we're going through all of those things um but also too just as a reminder every time i do a community service i always ship out about one week from when i done from once the um service was performed there's a lot that goes into packaging, shipping labels, all of that jazz, all right? So anyway, it's the things that you're gonna need. You're going to need your incense. You will need a flame, a charcoal disc, or something that can and will burn, even if it's like a fire pit, okay? It'll be awesome if you could get a um, glass of water or a bowl of water. And those are the things that you need. I don't have my bowl of water here, but it's perfectly fine. So I did use the um, Swift Light Candle um, Incense. Excuse me, Swift Light Charcoal Incense. Why does it say incense? Like, what's wrong with my life, right? So anyways, um, you have that, and that's what I use. Some people break these up. Um, if you um, go check out Bebe Vodou, um, Brooklyn Music, she has incredible um, handmade, self-made um, loose incense. And so one of her videos, she shows you, she just breaks hers up like into four pieces. I normally break mine in half, but um, so there's that. So you take your incense and, um, or you take your charcoal and you are literally going to give it a little bit of, um, situation now a lot of people will use like tongues and all of those things because they don't want to burn their hands me i'm cut from a different cloth right so anyways we want to make sure this situation is um and there's nothing wrong if you use tongues and all of those things because these things are high and they will burn you i mean it's literally on fire um as you can see so forth and so on. But anyways, so there's that. And then we're going to just, um, I'm going to rotate this this way. No, I want it this way. It looks better that way. So anyways, you're going to go ahead and get that going. You want to place this charcoal by the front door. Okay. By your front door on the inside of your front door. You are then going to take a pinch of your incense and place them on the charcoal as you are doing so and you're going to let this begin to burn you need to sweep your house from the back door to the front door or cleaning it from the back to the front okay 
Once you get to the front door, you open it aggressively and you put the incense outside. Okay. You are then going to take a little bit more incense and place on your charcoal. Okay. You are then going to allow it to burn all the way down. If you're using one of these, it's probably going to take about two hours or maybe an hour to burn all the way down and be completely done. Once it burns all the way down, it's completely done. Take the ash of your incense and pour it on your steps. And you are then going to take your broom and sweep off the stairs into your walkway, into the road. Well, queen, what if I don't have a walkway to do it off into the road? So you put it right there at your front step. You sweep it out, sweep it down the stairs, but you want to sweep it out of your path, which is the point. Never. And I can't wait. So this weekend is orientation for the Country South Hulu Institute. And um, one of the first things that we're going to be discussing is sweeping. Never, because I got my tail handed to me as a child for, for sweeping side to side. You don't sweep side to side because when you sweep like this you are crossing your path you don't cross your path so you sweep away from you you sweep away from you so you sweep it until it is no longer in your path in your way okay once this is done and you have swept it take that bowl of water or that cup of water and you're going to sprinkle four drops or pour four drops once you have done that Go, up and go back into your house and do not look back. All right. This goes back into that point that I was making during the free weekly Zodiac readings or on my Instagram live about how you don't go check up on work. You never look back to see what's going on and what has happened. It is that action of faith that you are exercising. So I just want to repeat this. So again, this is very simple, not a very long video at all, but it's very, very simple. So I'm going to repeat all of this. Okay. Have your community service blockbuster incense that will be coming to you very soon. Swift light charcoal disc. Real cute goddess, um, goddess spirit tea situation. You want to have your candle going on a bowl of water, right? Again, place this burning at your front door. Place your incense. Sweep from the back of your house or clean from the back of your house to the front once you get to the front door aggressively open the door and put the incense outside sweep out your door sweep on out let this burn on down you can put your candle out front you can put your bowl of water out there as well if you want to let this burn on down to an ash once it burns down to an ash pour it on your doorstep or your um your porch whatever the situation is and you sweep out of your path sweep aggressively and understand with every single sweep that you um provide you have pushed that large obstacle even farther into another realm but it will not be on your path any longer and understand that you are sealing the deal you are sealing the nail on the coffin regarding that once you have swept that off of your path and out of your path you will take your glass or cup or bowl of water and you will sprinkle it four times or pour out four times. Turn away, walk into your home, don't look back. Now, the extra thing that I do encourage you to do is take some mustard seeds and throw them behind you before you walk out, before you walk back into your home. Throw them behind you and that protects your road. Well, queen, what if I don't have any mustard seeds? My baby, you got salt. You got salt, okay? Take that salt, boom, throw it, keep it moving. Right shoulder, left shoulder, under my leg, over my head. Throw it behind you and keep moving forward. I'm not gonna go into those small details because those small details limit your ability, okay? And the th thing about it is traditionally, when you're told to do something, you do it and you don't ask questions. And that's just how it goes. And if you grow, if you have grown up in a black household, 
You know grandma, grandmother, grandfather, aunts. Aunts are the worst. When they say something, they mean it, you do it and you don't ask. Period. Right? So anyways, that is how this actually is performed. You should have already, and I mentioned this on Instagram, you should have already begun seeing things removed from your life. You should begin to feel a shift. You should begin to um, see um, the evidence of this obstacle removed and your blessings to be received. But I do want to bring this up. I guess this, this will be like a two part um, video about the importance of what this looks like. I meant to mention this in another video, but magic and manifestation looks different to other people. Okay, so for example, my roles may be open and I may get a large lump sum of money. Okay, your roles may come open and your money is going to trickle in weekly. You still getting the same blessing, but it looks differently. Where I may get a large lump sum and you may get trickles. Well, this person gets no tangible money, but they are getting savings left and right up and down this means you are still able to hold on to the money that you have so manifestation looks different and it could be the same thing for love um same thing for cursing same thing for crossing up somebody sweeten up the situation it looks different for different people and so you just have to be very aware of that okay so anyways my babies that is how you are going to utilize your community blockbuster incense. Now, I must tell you, we are going to be removing a lot of inventory from Conjure South. Um, the reason why that is, is because I want to have less products so that we can cut out a lot of the third parties and middlemen and women so that we can get you your products sooner, quicker, faster, a less wait time on, say for example, mm, let's just say for, for the um, rouge, um, um, the, the, the red candles. So we have a Dutois Cant, we have four, no, six, six we have six, six um, um, red candles, okay? Say for example, somebody purchased all the red candles today. Well, if somebody else needs some more red candles, it's probably going to take two, three, two or three weeks, maybe even a month, depending on that company, right? And so say you order that, but you also order my Blockbuster. Well, my shipping guy normally doesn't ship your Blockbuster unless he has your whole order. So you get everything. So sometimes that's the reason why some of the orders end up waiting. Um, and I guess we should do better with communicating and letting you know that again, I don't handle that. So I don't communicate with nobody. I'm normally reading, doing videos or, or working rituals. So anyways, if we remove this from our inventory and just say, for example, you only chose to do a blockbuster, we can get that on out to you as of yesterday, right? So with that being said, I am actually going to provide you all with a 30% coupon, okay? A 30% coupon for um, all the things in the, on the store, on the, in the shop, except readings, no 30% off on the readings or services. Um, there'll be a couple of things, but regarding um, other products or whatever else, but this is pretty much how it's going to go down. You um, do a minimum order of $35 and you will get 30% off. 30% off is a big percentage. That's a big percentage. Um, so I'm saying 30, the spirit is saying 30. So I'm going with 30. Um, business wise, normally you would not go to that. that that's a lot. Um, it really is a lot it's only on a business front. At that point, I'm pretty much giving things away. Um, but spirit is telling me to do it, so I'm doing it. <laughs> you got to be spiritual obedient. So there's that. So anyways, my babies, um, the code for that will be... Let's have the, the code be... Um, let's make it simple. We're going to do goddess 
T, and that'll be Goddess, G-O-D-D-E-S-S-T-E-E, -E, Goddess T. I will put that below. I'll post it on Instagram and all of that jazz. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Je suis comme dos de la Ranudu de la Cosa Imperial. Mon nom est dos de la Pound. I am Queen Commandos, the Hoodoo Queen of the Imperial Court of Mon Medos de la Pound. Enjoy this working. Get that work in. Live in your magic, baby. Don't exercise it. Don't practice. It's time to work. See you soon. I'll be on too.